What's up, y'all? It's your boy Tuck, Street Warrior Savant, coming again with another banger, another video. Let's get it. I hope you all are having a wonderful Sunday. And during this quarantine time, you see I'm in my cozy fit now, all my hoodie, very comfortable, very heavyweight, but I'm doing good, I'm doing well. So on this Sunday, we are going to do a self talk self talk <laughs> so a self talk is going to be his tips and tricks for the mental giving you the advice that i had to go through through this whole entire journey and just helping you guys along the way so here we go og number one the first episode of self talk so our first topic is going to be drum roll please Drive, drive, the fuel that keeps you going, gets you from point A to point B, kind of just your running energy source to get to any goal you want to get to. Um, I guess for me, just when I tell people I lost 150 pounds, they don't believe me. It's like, oh, that took forever. How did you do it? And drive is a very, very, very essential part of that process. Like it was extremely necessary in order to get where I am today, as you can see. Like, look at me, look at me, like, look at this. Drive was necessary for this. So here are my three tips in order to keep your job going and anything you do. And it doesn't have to be in like the physical fitness aspect. If you're trying to get a new job or you're trying to get a new hobby or get a new craft, here's some three tips that's gonna help you out. The first and most important tip to me is make the little goals in order to achieve your big goal. Like for me, if I told myself all the way back in 2017, you're gonna lose 150 pounds, I would have been like, you tripping. Like it, it sounds extremely daunting when you say it up front, especially after this whole two year span. But when you think about it, 150 pounds over about 24 months, that's about, excuse my math, about 15, 10 pounds a month. So if I took it piece by piece every single month, it's a whole lot easier than what you may think. You don't have to just shoot for the stars immediately. You gotta take your little short pit stops in order to get to the main destination. So make little goals for your big goals. If you're trying to create a book, all right, next month I'm gonna finish the prologue. And then the next month after that, I'm gonna do chapter one and then chapter two and three and four and so on. Doing the little goals will help you stay focused and make sure you don't burn yourself out. So make sure, do the little goals in order to achieve your big goal. The second tip is, do not, I repeat, do not be afraid to be uncomfortable. I know a lot of people don't want to be uncomfortable at all with anything they want to do. They want to act like they know that, know it, they act like they're fine with where they at. But like I always gonna say, if you do the same exact thing every single day and expect a different result, you're insane. Like crazy, crazy. Sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone and try new things in order to grow. And that's just what has to happen. You gotta step out like, hey, if I ran a mile yesterday, let me try to do a mile on the fourth. And then yeah, it's gonna suck because you're never used to that fourth mile, but that's gonna get you stronger. That's gonna get your physical fitness going, but also bring up your mental. And like just trying new things, being around different people, being in different environments. It's like, you gotta work being uncomfortable in order to be comfortable, more comfortable, and then keep going from there. You gotta keep leveling up on it. So second tip, do not be afraid to be uncomfortable. And building upon leveling up, the third and probably most important as well is adapt, 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 and keep on adapting. As you can see in this time right now, we're in quarantine. And as you know, I go to the gym a lot. And as you can see, I'm not in the gym right now. So I had to learn to utilize my tools. I have YouTube doing in-home workouts. I have the outdoors, I run around the block, run around the forest reserve a couple of times. Just utilizing the tools I have around me, being able to adapt to it. It's like in nature, you need survival of the fittest. If you're not knowing how to adapt, then you're never gonna level up and you're not gonna grow. And if you keep and on adapting to your environment, your dreams will manifest into reality. I can't believe on my first episode, I'm gonna quote Drake, but I remember the one line off the Meek Mill Amen track, I'm the type to say a prayer and then go get what I prayed for which is, it's a bar nonetheless, but it kind of relates a lot to drive. It's like, you can pray about whatever you want. You can wish for anything you want, but if you're not gonna put the work behind it, what's the point? He put the work behind what he wanted in life. And he, as you can see, with all of his new track and all the assets he got, he's making it happen. So 
Make sure y'all put the drive to yourselves. Keep it pushing. Keep accomplishing your goals. This is Tuck. This is Q&K. Peace.